Hello, it's Andrew Bensley with the latest Sky Racing News. Ramwick is rated the soft five today, but thankfully sunshine has returned to Sydney after a quite overcast day yesterday. Track manager Michael Wood says with today's penetrometer of 5.45, he expects the surface to start a five tomorrow morning with an upgrade on the cards to a good four through the meeting. The big group one at Ramwick tomorrow is the all-aged. Trainer Anthony Friedman has dual runners with Santa Ana Lane the clear top pick over Super Seth. The horse hasn't raced a lot beyond 1,200 metres recently, but the stable feels Santa Ana Lane does produce his best around the 1,400 metres. Also tomorrow at Ramwick, they'll settle up groundswell after being scratched last Saturday. Following this impressive trial win, Friedman's feel the strong riding style of Tom Marquand should really suit groundswell, who also comes down in grade. Three-year-old Brandenburg comes back in distance tomorrow in the All-Aged after running in the Doncaster Mile. Rachel King is also back aboard after teaming up earlier in the autumn to win this race, the Hobartville Stakes at Rose Hill. Rachel rode Brandenburg in Tuesday's key gallop with blinkers on and feels confident the horse remains in the zone to win tomorrow. Parata remains the tab favourite in the All-Aged, ahead of Santa Ana Lane and Godolphin three-year-old Bivouac. This week, Tafane has been the main mover from $15 back on Monday. Now to the Frank Packer Plate at Ramwick tomorrow, when trainers Gabe Waterhouse and Adrian Bott have the inform on Taunt stepping out to 2,000 metres. The horse led all the way to win the Carbine Club over a mile last time and Bot senses the way Entente has relaxed in his track work. The extra 400 metres won't be a concern. Plus tomorrow is the improved surface after winning the Carbine on a heavy eight. Derby winner Quick Thinker has been kept fresh since winning the Group 1. There's been only one breeze up and a lot of swimming to have some freshness in his legs. The two recent wins for Quick Thinker have been on soft and heavy ground. The Murray Baker Andrew Forsman three-year-old is clear tab favourite to win the Frank Packer, while the Walla trained Canane started the week at $21 on Monday in the all-in market. Popular jockey Robbie Dolan is only four wins away from losing his city claim with still seven months to go as an apprentice. In his second season in Sydney, Dolan has so far won three group races plus a listed and consistently rides for a number of leading trainers. Tomorrow, he rides Luna Mia in the Tab Highway on a track the horse will definitely appreciate. Dolan just hoping for some cover from a wide barrier. Hellenism is the Tab Highway favourite, but trainer Aidan St Vincent says the horse isn't totally wound up for her return to the track. And it's been a week of retirements with Jewel Everest winner Red Zell joining Happy Clapper. Triple Crown syndications and Red Zell's owners believe the horse has given them everything in his outstanding career. From winning his first race in March 2015 to two Everests and $16.4 million in prize money. Negotiations will commence now on where Red Zell will live the rest of his days with a strong possibility being New South Wales. There's more news on our social media pages, and stay with Sky Racing right across the weekend for Ramwick and Interstate Racing, and it all starts from 6.30 in the morning on Racing HQ.